Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me on this video. If you're new, my name is Sam. I'm a savvy bargain shopper who loves to do hauls for you guys at home. I have a Facebook page where I post lots of savvy buys and different things in stores. If you'd like to follow me on there, that would be great. We've got a nice little community on there. And also my Instagram where I post loads, loads and loads and loads of shopping things and items in stores and bargains and things. So do check me out. I'll put all the links in the description bar below. So we are in a second lockdown. I've accumulated a few things before lockdown that I wanted to share with you and I just quickly nipped to Tap Poundland which is one second away from my flat. So here is just a quick overhaul of bits and bobs. Really sorry my floor is so squeaky. So I picked up some bits from Poundland. I've got the range, I've got TK Maxx and something from Lidl that I want to show you guys. So I picked up this really, really large gift bag and it's really wide, which is good because um, I've got a box to put in there for my mum for Christmas. Um, I got that in Poundland, really good quality as well for a pound and really thick. Um, for that kind of size bag, anywhere else would probably be over a pound and not as good quality, but it is lovely. It's blue and gold. And I just really like it. It doesn't sort of go with my theme, but I really like that bag. So I picked it up for my mum. Then TK Maxx. I saw this. Now, this is an Emma Bridgewater tin. Now, if you guys don't know already, I collect Emma Bridgewater pottery. And I do have one of her tins already. But this is the Venice scene. And this was in TK Maxx. Now, the price says £3.99. It's scanned at a pound. I don't know why, but it did. So I was so, so happy with that. That was just lurking there on its own. And I've seen that pattern, so I knew it was from her. So, yeah, I was really, really pleased with that. Then I just picked up a big bottle of pink LucasAid lemonade from Poundland. Um, then this is one of my best buys, I think. This lovely silver wooden Merry Christmas sign. I got this in the range and this was only, I want to say it was one ninety nine. Yes, one ninety nine. for that really, really long sign. They also had it in gold as well. If I go again, I will pick up another one for my friend for her salon because she said that was really, really nice. That would look lovely on her coffee table. Then I picked these up in the range. They're very um, Nordic looking wooden Christmas trees with little bells on and again the price got me that's why I bought them 149 each so I was so impressed with that they're going to go on my dresser now guys I know you're all expecting me to go mad Christmas decoration wise this year um I'm not going mad in my flat this year only because I am moving next year so I don't want to go overboard this year I want to go mad next year I will do a story about that a story a video about what's the future holds and things so um yeah so I'm just gonna do my dresser and a tree this year I've put my nutcracker collection out if you follow me on Instagram you've already seen that um but yeah I was really really pleased about the price of those so I picked those up for my dresser more on TK Maxx I have lit one already DW Home, um, I think it was two days before lockdown, no, the Saturday, sorry, before lockdown, um, I quickly popped in to get some candles from my colleagues at work who wanted some of these DW Home ones, thinking that they didn't have any Christmas ones coming in this year, they did, so I picked up the candy cane, milk and cookies, oh my god, they have all got lids by the way that I've just taken them off, that one smells incredible, now when lockdown is over, Guys, go into TK Maxx because these are only two ninety nine each. And what lovely little stocking fillers or secret Santa presents or, you know, just a little gift to put in a hamper or something for um, friends and family. Then I picked up morning vanilla coffee. I went back to get more of this on the Sunday. They had none left. Smells incredible. And the scents on these guys. I used to love Yankee, as you guys know, Yankee candles. But these have just blown out of the ocean for me now dw home they are an american brand as well so yeah really really strong smells from these and then i picked up an apple wreath and then i left the lid on this one to show you look how lovely that wreath 
is on the lid and this is peppermint buttercream again all 2 99 do check your stores after lockdown and see if they're in your stores um but yeah really really good candles i will be getting more when the stores open again poundland now i have got my tree up i will sort of show you eventually but it's not finished it's Half complete. I do like to change. I am really, really sad. And I know I shoot myself in the foot when I say this. But I do change my thing every year. Um, I might not change it next year. Only because I should be in my new home then. But um, yeah. I've picked up some silver baubles. The smaller ones. Um, medium sized ones, sorry. And then I have picked up some of the smaller ones. Just to sort of fill the tree out a bit. Because it is still a bit sparse. I have got main decks on there. But... I need some like little baubles just to fill it in. And then I saw these really cute stars in Poundland as well. So I picked up those. So I thought that was really, really good in Poundland. They have, um, they do have the gonks in our store. I'm not overly keen on the gonks personally. Um, but I know a lot of you guys do and everybody raves about the gonks. So uh, just thought I'd let you know if you live locally to me. Then I saw this sign. I thought that was really, really cute. This joy sign in Poundland um that was a pound as well do be careful guys because some things in there aren't a pound um in the christmas stuff and it does have like a pound ticket underneath the item but they're not i put something through the till early and it came up as three pounds so i put it back because it didn't look like it was worth three pound personally so yeah do obviously keep an eye on that then i've picked up these now i have got some of the home bargain ones i am going to home bargain again to get some more of the ice skating boots but i thought these were nice as well the glittery boots so these were a pound each i picked up the last two they had then i'm doing some of the sweet boxes so i picked up some more of the snack size sweets so i picked up some double deckers picked up some oreos guys also this vi poo is amazing like the smell is amazing like you don't even have to go to the toilet to spray this i do just spray this in my toilet it's really really sad i know these in um sainsbury's and asda and places like that are like four to five pounds this is a pound in our store and this is in the hawaiian hero it smells incredible i saw it and i scanned it and i thought but it's going to say three pound or something like that no it was a pound so i picked up one of those really 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 good picked up a milk strawberry milkshake i always do when i go into poundland so the snack oreos i picked up you get six in a pack for a pound then I picked up some Skinny Whips and the Strawberry for me. Then I picked up some Happy Hippos, the Kinder ones and the Hazelnut to go in with my sweet boxes. Then I picked up two cans of the Coke Zero and a bag of the Kettle Chips. Now I picked these croissants up in there. These are really good. I'll take these to work. Um, they're the chocolate filled croissants. Really, really good for work. Um, picked up a two pint of milk just because um, I was running low and it was convenient getting it from there. I've never had a problem with their milk. People say, oh, not sure about buying milk from there. It's, there's nothing wrong with it at all. So I just picked that up while I was in there. Then I picked up two packs of the full size Malteser bags. Now um, you get three packs of the full size in there. Really, really good. That was from Poundland as well. Then I wanted to share these with you guys. Now I picked these up in Lidl's and these are the Betty Crocker cookie mix. I've got the vanilla loaf cake mix and the brownie mix. These are 99p in stores on their special buys at the moment. So do check them out while you're in lockdown. You can bake with your kids or yourself or whoever. Um, yeah, for a pound, really, really good. These would set you back two pounds um, in, you know, supermarket. So yeah, I thought that was really, really good. So I picked up three of those. Then the last thing I want to share with you guys. Now, I do use this a lot, so excuse it being dirty. But when you guys... Oh, I've got a bit of a wick on there, look. When you guys um, like candles and things and then the flames get too high, you guys need to invest in one of these wick trimmers. Now, these are about four or five pounds online, but just type in wick trim on eBay or Amazon or whatever and you will come across this. So when your candles, I'll show you, when your candles sort of have a wick that's too high, you open this up and cut it, 
and it just keeps it from sooting and having long flames and stuff so yeah that's just a little haul for you guys i hope you enjoyed this video and until next time i'll see you soon take care bye